Hello, welcome back to Ride Rescue. In this episode, I want to clean up the front half of this frame and get it ready for the IFS, Independent Front Suspension System. You can see, these motor mounts ended up being a lot stronger than I thought they were. They, they didn't look like they had very good welds, and they really don't, but for a four-cylinder, held just fine. Probably would have held forever. But put a V8 on top of these and with a vi extra vibration and torque, I think it's just a matter of time. Would have lost the grip on those welds. But this side on the driver's side, I didn't think would hold up at all. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty stout. actually got a pretty good weld on the back side of this <laughs> piece right here. It's like the only decent weld of the bunch. Actually no, it wasn't that good a weld. <laughs> Yeah, only just a little bit of weld, not much. There was a teeny bit here, a teeny bit there. About the same thing on this side. There was a little bit of a burr weld on this side. They globbed on a lot of weld right here. It's really about the only thing that made it strong. With a lot of vibration, you know, that this could have easily all come apart. Well, it had a good bond, but only about three quarters of an inch on this side and about one inch on this side. Nothing else really bonded, didn't really take hold. There's no reason for me to keep this uh, single line master cylinder. Uh, I'm not the safest brake system in the world. I'll be replacing it all, and while I'm at it, I need to hook up a clutch system anyway. So oh, with these old brake lines, you might as well just replace them all. Uh, the front end of this system is in pretty good shape, but all the rear end brake lines are, are pretty rusty and pitted. The steering box is full of water. Interesting. Previous owners did a great job greasing this. Haven't used this tool in a long time. Typically, you just smack the side with everything all attached. <laughs> with everything not attached, it's kind of sloppy. Too bad. I 
these kingpins are getting really hard to find. They were discontinued and there for a while you couldn't get them. There are a few places that remanufacture them, but they don't make very many. So you typically end up waiting in line. Since these are in such good shape, it's got some value. It's got a fork design that goes around the bottom, like a shackle for the bottom of this spring. And then it's got a pin through the top. We're gonna have to experiment a little bit to figure out how to get it all apart. Okay. Just a long bolt that goes all the way through the shaft. I don't know if this has got any pressure on it. I don't want it to come flying down, so I'm going to put the jack underneath it, just in case. Got a head on this shaft, and the head is all rounded out. Probably didn't have the right deep socket to get it off, so they just used a wrench. And at least I have a box. I need to take this cross member off. It's riveted on, there's four rivets here and a couple rivets here. So typically on a rivet like this, I would do a cross hatch cut in it, but it's so tight in here, I might only be able to get a one <laughs> cut across one way, but I can't get to this one. Uh, it's really difficult to get to this one. I can kind of get to the backside Ideally, what I'd like to be able to do is flip this over and, and get to the back side of these. But what I'm going to do, just to try it, I'm going to get my, my chisel and see if I can chisel these off from the top side. Because if I flip it over, then I'm going to flip it back and back and forth. I've got a weld all along here I've got to cut. Uh, and I can't exactly tell, but I don't think I have anything underneath except for these rivets. So hopefully, I don't need to flip it over at this point. Once I do get these off, then the cross member, there's a flange on this side that is going to have to be cut off. And I need to get that dimension exactly where I'm, it needs to be permanently before I notch that. And I don't have all the pieces yet, so I don't know where that's going to go. So while I'm waiting for the parts, I want to get this out of the way, start cleaning up the frame. And we'll see how far I get when, hopefully. The other parts come in.
All right, well, that's about all I can do on this frame now, other than just grinding it smooth and getting rid of the rust. I gotta prep it all, get it ready for welding once I get all the parts. So thanks for watching my video. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. Give me a like, leave me a comment. Really appreciate hearing from you. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye for now.